Welcome back to the Core Cars News Tech Lab. Today we got a tip of the day of how to update your Roku to fix glitches, bring new features, and address common issues. I often get emails, hey, you know, Sling's not working, Fubo or Hulu or some other app has stopped working on a Roku. Often I find running an update more often than not will solve that issue. Also, Roku is routinely rolling out new updates, and while yes, they do auto-update, sometimes it takes a while. And if you're looking for some of the newest features, we're gonna show you how to update your Roku here to get them without needing to wait for that. A few things right off the bat though, uh, if you like what we do here, please consider hitting that subscribe button and hitting that thumbs up. It really does help us because it lets YouTube know you enjoy what we look, um, do here so they recommend our videos to more people and hopefully we can help you. Second, I'm gonna show two different ways to do this. First for a dedicated app and then for the Roku itself. So hang in here, I'll do this quick, but two different ways to do it. Start off with, hey, Sling TV is not working. Well, this may not always fix Sling TV. I do find it's a common fix for a lot of issues. Um, and it's not just Sling, I'm using this as an example. This goes for all the Roku apps. Go over to whatever app you want on your remote, hit the star key, the little asterisk key on it. It brings up this new menu. And right here you can select check for updates. This is also where you can move the app and do different things, remove it. So if you select check for updates, it's going to run a full update and say, hey, this one is uh, up to date. So no update was needed there. But hey, Luke, I want to check my Roku itself, not an app itself for an update. So go to settings and then go to system. And then you go down here to software update. So settings, system, software update, select this. Now this will tell you what software version you're on. For example, I'm on 14, maybe someday 15 is rolling out. You wanna see if you get 15 with this. It also tells you when it last checked. For me, it checked at 1.19 a.m. my local time, but was last updated on October 18th, 2024. Let's hit the check now and see what happens here. So check in for new software. This will check the Roku itself for new software in all the apps on your Roku for up software updates. Sometimes when I get out a review unit, there's quite a few here. Um, I can see a huge update. But as you see, hey, Roku's fully updated. I've seen it before when like YouTube TV, for example, I hear this all the time. Hey, I got YouTube TV, I wanted to um, use it and it says there's some type of error with security on it or something. Probably you took an old Roku, an old device, plugged it in, and the software is so out of date, it doesn't work. Running updates, again, are automatic. As you saw, mine checked at 1.19 a.m. But if you're like me and you want the latest as soon as it rolls out, you, Roku rolls these out in stages, but you can often get jump the line a little bit by checking. Unfortunately, Roku, like I said, rolls things out. If they're not offering it to your device yet, for example, this is a Roku TV. It's actually kind of an older one. It's, I've had this for over five years now um, and it's still running great, but maybe this model isn't right for the update. Roku is still fully updated. This TV is still fully supported. But for example, my Roku Ultra got the new 14 software update before my Roku TV did. But I've had it go the other way. I've had Roku TVs I own get updates before my streaming players like the Roku Ultra. It's all hit and miss. But it's really a really nice feature to see that Roku's continue to roll out regular updates, regular new features. While this may not solve all your issues, it is a good place to start. My last tip is if you do have a particular app that is struggling, consider hitting the asterisk key again, remove the app, go into the app store and re-add it, completely wiping it from your device sometimes fixes the issue. No, not always. Sometimes the issue is completely on Disney Pluses or Max or Hulu or whatever service you're having issues with. So check that out. But if you're, for example, when the app opens, it instantly crashes and you're not seeing other people talk about the issues, these are the places I would start to try to fix it. Well, that's it for today. I hope you have a fantastic day. I hope this tip helped you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button or thumbs up. We post all kinds of videos about the world of cord cutting, news, reviews, how-tos, and tips just like this one. Until next time, take care, be safe. Thank you so much for your support.